Hello there and welcome to Legal Break. I'm Maureen Akers and with me today, as always, Gary Bruce. Thank you so much for joining us again, Gary. Good to be here again. It is, and Thank we're you. asking and answering questions and talking about things that are that are pertinent and, and relevant to the law. Well, I hope so. So right, that's the objective <laughs> at least, right? That's right. So there's been a lot of talk, um, even you know, even though it's been out there for a little bit about this United Airlines case and what happened to this doctor, I think Dr. Dow on this on his right. flight or yeah. attempted flight. Um, he's hired an attorney. This looks kind of interesting. Tell us a little bit about that. You know, I watched the initial <laughs> interview with the attorney or his press conference. Mm -hmm. uh, he's hired a good lawyer, mm -hmm. and uh, it's going to be fun to watch what happens. I think as a lawyer. I right. mean, this is what you. This is not OJ too, but it's going to be <laughs> interesting because this guy knows what he's doing. He explained it well, and to this to this point in particular, it is a process of gathering information and presenting a case. You know, right. it's not just all about the video we've right. seen. Right. And what I think is going to be fascinating is the decision-making process of who decided this was a good idea. Yeah. I mean, really. Right. Right. So, you know, they, <laughs> as a lawyer, that's the kind of thing you have fun with. Really, yeah. <laughs> you made this decision all by yourself, you yeah. know? So, I mean, what a, what a big... Anyway, so it should be interesting. I Very. suspect all the depositions will be on video, and they will leak out and be there. And uh, unless United ponies up early, you know, to save some face here. But I, uh, interesting case, and Very. the civil side being uh, explored in Chicago. I don't know what all the details are, but it should be interesting to follow. Yeah, and, and to that point, then we have we have this doctor, and he has some. There's been some reported instances in his background. Is that relevant? Does that even matter in in a case like this? Well, does it matter? Probably not, you know. Uh, did that have anything to do with the fact he sat there and said, I'm not getting up, right. or whatever he said, but does it come into cases? It's, they, they, the other side <laughs> will always try and use what they have, yeah. you know, so right. I, they've already smeared him. Mm -hmm. Somebody has. Mm -hmm. I mean, why is this relevant? Why do we even care? Mm -hmm. Somebody was drug off an airplane. Right. Uh, the decisions were made, bad decisions were made that led to all that, and uh, but will it come up? In most cases, you know, people do try and use things. And is it relevant? That is the question, and that's what we argue as lawyers. No, that doesn't come in. That's not for the fact finder to, fact finder to hear or consider. Right. They've got to look at, at everything that has to do with this in. particular instance. Well, that's yeah. right. Unless yeah. you can show it had some impact, and I can't. In this, it's just to kind of smear the guy, and it's irrelevant to any decision of the case. Yeah. So, interesting, interesting.